Well, I'll be doing a short demo on some of the products that can enable uh, HR shared services and give you some example of case studies as we uh, listened to some of before. So the software solutions from HR vary from the employee self-service, claims, recruitment, performance, training. Those are some of what we call strategic uh, modules or components of the HMS or the uh, human capital management system of the ERP. There are also some additional components of HR, like the people um, record or the core HR records management system, the payroll, reporting and analytics, time and attendance, health and safety, org charts, among others. So these are the main modules, then there's additional components that can be used without having the time to go through all of them and how they can enable shared services. We'll be focusing on two to three products that we believe that are that play a major role in HR transformation to a shared services environment. So one of them is self-service and namely both employee and manager self-service. So this product it's a front end for the employee of his record. He's able to see his data, um, check their information, uh, do time register, submit leaves, do attendance, um, do claims, update, update in, in personal information, request salaries, you know, do his component of performance. So all these components give a, a front end to the employee where he's able to see the data uh, and also submit claims, which is an a, a a important part when you're doing shared services uh, and requests uh, also queries and, and re uh, submit um, general requests like grievance, benefits, performance disputes is where he has access to the training environment. So register to his training actions, past training um, actions he's attended, uh, evaluation forms, is where he can issue a series of reports related to pay slip, employee record, performance, uh, is where we, he can also have, he or she can also have access to forms that are made available or links that are made available to, um, to him by the organization. Um, so this component is the view from the employee side, but there is also the component from the manager perspective. He can get notifications, sees um, employees that are that belong to him in the org chart, you know, approve leave, vacation, claims, do the component of setting goals and um, KPIs, also, you know, inputting training needs, evaluation forms. So decentralize also not only the components of per performance, but also from training. Um, it you know gives him a, a scope of all the requests that go flow through him uh, other than flowing directly to a shared services um, as well uh, but he also can apply different requests like recruitment replacement unauthorized absence you know disciplinary actions he can issue reports from his units or uh, his groups of uh, units or departments, summary uh, of attendance, training, performance, changing his staff. So he would have a view over uh, his employees and um, be able to manage better and having access to that uh, information, keeping in mind that GDPR is also plays a role in this process. Uh, and claims would most notable is the opportunity for both of them to, you know, request over time, request travel, you know, it's auto automated, integrated with payroll, um, requests advances in allowances, mileage claims over time. So gives them that opportunity to reduce the paper base. And how these share services can be enabled by using this software. So we know that it increases employee experience if I have access to my information, if I'm able to submit queries directly, and uh, see the results of those. So I don't have to go into a, any, any component and, and be asking my manager or my HR staff of, oh, you know, my address is different or it should be changed. Um, it's a faster service because employee requests are uh, done quickly and, and even questions can be answered correctly. So we wanna make sure that if, you're in a, if you have a shared services environment that questions are uh, answered by the business partner or the 
consultant and share services that knows exactly what's the correct uh, and quickly because you know they they are they are used to having uh, replies to those particular questions so they are they know how fast you, you can answer those uh, other than going in and waiting on on an email from HR etc. It also fosters positive interactions between employees in HR. So that level of answers and uh, readiness is something that we've seen in implementation of shared services. Also standardization. If there is a process flow that works for a shared service environment, that means all the different companies, or organizations in your group, um, if you're implementing a shared services in a group, for example, they follow the same process. So there's no different um, way of treating some processes than the others. So that standardization is something that we all know from shared services, but it can be enabled by use of technology where the workflows are embedded or they're designed in the system as in our case, they're designed by the client and they can um, that we can make sure that they follow it for every single process. It clears also communication and increase, it increases collaboration among employees and departments due to this ensuring that I know that my SLA, when I submit a query of this type, would take you know two days or three days to get this letter or to get this document that I need from HR, and I know exactly um, how to do it, and I, I get it in a in a fast and a speed way. It also gives you uh, access to the employees to access and update their own HR information without you know reducing a lot of the admin work that it's putting in. But I think one of the key things that most people don't actually think when enabling shared services with technology is the opportunity to have new employee-centric services be provided. So even if we're limited to what we know today, what are the current services that we can give to employees, we can also increase it in the future. So if, either it's to just create a new request type to have, uh, for example, enroll in your health plan or if you're you know, planning a run or a marathon or something, then you can just uh, send a message through for all employees to uh, gather. So even new types of services that we're not thinking today, but they're employee-centric, we can uh, have them available as well. Moving from this decentralization of shared services and the employee self -service, manager self-service components, let's look at the core. Because the core of HR module, which is where I have my full record. It's where I have my information of the posts that I've, I've been to, my career path, my contract uh, determinations, my salary scales, my leave, my training actions, my performance score, all the management reports. It's always all, all right, my personal data, my uh, employment data. It's where I basically have all together this information regarding to the employee. So it's one thing that it's important is to ensure that when we're thinking of an HR shared services environment and using an HR module or component that we have, uh, the system is enabled for shared services. So making sure that a couple of things that we're going to be seeing afterwards as, as the main components. So the system gives you a view, a glimpse of what's the all the information that it's storing a different in the very different views of the different modules that can compose the HR um, suite. So here is basically what I have a centralized unified view of the employee record uh, to be able to manage, even though I can be using a training module or performance module or even self-service components. The other component is the payroll module, which is we want to reduce as much as admin work and that's for sure one of the benefits of using an HR uh, solution which is to ensure that social security, all the files, all the payroll processes, uh, all the management controls of the either annually or, or monthly or whatever pay cycle you're using to ensure that it's integrated with your financial systems to have a smooth process from beginning to end. Um, it has a capability of doing uh, retroactive payments, sharing your tier lumps allowance, acting allowance, you know, tables, etc. All the files that are, you know, for payment and upload, uh, which are pretty much standard on payroll. But what I think is more important is how these are can be enabled. So 
when looking at an HR and a payroll um, services, we can all see the streamlined processes, you know, ensure that we have faster times uh, responses, um, that we can increase accuracy and compliance to ensure that the, whatever is needs to be paid uh, follows the correct um, process and it's paid correctly. Uh, you know, but we also forget to think about the other components. So there's a couple of components that are built in feature that the system must have, like multiple access levels and roles that to ensure that your HR business partners from, let's say, a company in the group only has access to some levels of details, you know, their HR business partners uh, in comparison to uh, whoever is working on the on the share services or you know the the, the competence in share services um, roles, so they ensure that they have different views of the system, and the systems need to be enabled to have this level of uh, ensuring that the users are limited in what they see or they can do, depending on the role that they take on the system. And that's partly because, for example, in our on our system. Um, we can have a multitude of different options. So we can have a standard loan that, you know, each, let's say each company in the group has their own HR, HR and payroll system, um, and they operate completely separate so they can, they have full scope of all the processes of, of HR and admin work, um, where, or they are in the full share services where I'm in an HR business part in, in an organization and, and all the processes are actually, um, send to share services and they're run by share services and I get the feedback from the results of that and I can just deal with you know a one-to-one -one or do more strategic work in terms of HR or hybrid which is something that it falls in between where there are some components there are share services uh, enabled where other components are done by the by the HR business partners on their on their uh, respective companies. So it can have this possibility of having an hybrid where some components go into one and some other components go into the other direction. Um, also, you have to be thinking in mind that having a shared service in my environment and having one platform to manage a group or to manage multiple organizations uh, gives you uh, enhancement in data analytics. So it gives you one window into one data, uh, one truth, uh, as we normally say it. Um, but it also gives you the possibility of HR processes that can be scaled and changed to the company's needs without having to change all those different softwares in between or all those different processes that there exist in, throughout the groups, for example, uh, or governments in, in, in the case for example, of the government of Jamaica, you know, all the different ministries might just have one standardized process operation, so one one SOP. Um, but also in other cases that we have, for example, in in the University of Nova in Lisbon, where different faculties uh, under the same umbrella of the same university might have different processes, and 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 they're not in fully shared services, but they can also operate. Or in the government of Azores, where the solution is also. Um, uh, available and in, in, in use where the different islands and different ministries um, centralize all the payroll and all the processing as well. So those are just three, three case studies and you can find it more on the website and if you want to see additional um, information on how uh, you can implement a share services or some components of share services, as I mentioned, this can be a hybrid thing um, or it can be a process of transition. We know that rolling out to a share services does play um, has a major impact on processes and operations and how your HR is organized and also there's a lot of um, not only data change and software change but people change as well so change management is key in implementing so if you want to know more on how those solutions and our solutions of HR at QGIS can help you um, you can also check our website or drop us a message as well thank you